Ab what do you have? What are these little wheelie thingies? It's like an ab wheel. What are you making me do yeah, here? Yeah, we're an ab wheel. We'll get to that. So we're going to do a core workout, and, and really any workout. You know, they kind of talk about building habits, and you've probably heard this before. Like 21 days builds a habit. So we're going to do this workout 20, 22 days straight. Okay. So we're going one extra than the habit. So then you have that built-in habit, and our goal with doing this core workout is to kind of build upon itself, to, to strengthen. So we're going to start out. So the first thing of this workout is we're going to get down right here and this is where we got to move these mics because yes, yes, yes. we're going to lay on my back and it's going to be a leg raise that's it and and there's going to be stay. so we would do 10 leg raises like so so up and then after our 10 which i didn't do 10 but for the sake of the show we would breathe for five to seven seconds i like regain this our yeah we'd regain kind of the burn would go away and then we would do 10 more and we would continue this until we got to the point where I couldn't complete 10. So we would rest five seconds, and then we would do it again. And then once we got to the point where I could only get like three, okay. we'd come up, we'd rest for 10 seconds, and now we're gonna move into our next workout. So the next one is gonna be kind of a similar. So legs over here, we're gonna raise, come over, and then down. Ooh, I feel raise, that over, and down. And then we're gonna do that 10 times, and the same thing. After we've done 10, we're gonna rest five seconds, and then we're going to start again. And then once we get to where we can't do 10 straight, then we're going to move on to our next one. So we've got two ways we can do this. So one is we're going to lay flat, hands back, and then we're going to bring our knees up here. That's one way you can do a crunch. Or sometimes when people do, do abs, they feel a lot in their hip flexors. So a way you can kind of relieve that is almost like a butterfly position here. And then you can do your... Oh. Your crunch there, and that puts more. Oh, I don't like that one. Yeah, it puts more, <laughs> puts more, more on your abs and less on that hip flexor. Yes. So again, we're gonna do ten again of those, and then we're gonna rest five seconds. As if I can do ten yeah. of those. So we're gonna go. <laughs> so we would go ten Guys. here. <laughs> and My reach. abs aren't as strong as yours, you, firefighter and you do, Tim. And when you do a crunch too, make sure I pretend there's an apple stuck between my chin and my neck here, so I don't crunch my chin down on my neck oh. because I don't want to put too much stress on my on my spine or my neck oh, I see. so I kind of almost imagine that there's a so it's more focused here so tell me if certain things start hurting what's concerning because sometimes you know you're like wait why are my shoulder or well some of it is you're gonna have soreness if you're just starting working out but if there's something that starts to be nagging it causes serious pain or impingement then you want to definitely look at that or yeah. speak to a doctor uh, and then we've got one more to okay. this workout, which is our ab wheel. So then we're going to take, oh, yes. and this is again, we're going to do this every day. So I like to kind of just roll this up to protect our knees. So you can just grab your mat right here. Okay. And then I'll, yep. So then we, right there. All and right. now for our ab wheel, we're going to do 10 also. So. Good thing I didn't wear a dress today. <laughs> you may have just been watching me. See, that's the real key. <laughs> I actually, yeah, maybe I should have worn it. Yeah, then you just have Jeez. to watch. So we're just going to go out. And then back up. <laughs> so hard. And then out. And uh, we would do he ten. makes it look easy. And we would do 10 of these, and then we would rest. Where do I get one of these things? Uh, you can get these anyway. Amazon's an easy way. You can get them at pretty much any sporting goods store. All right. And ab wheels are great stabilizers. And you're going to do this, like I said, every day, and you're going to build on it every day. So you're building your strength to your core, and you're doing that for 22 days straight. And by the end, you've got your habit built. And so we're still in that first part of the year right mm -hmm. we're trying to build those habits if you had a new year, new year's resolution just some different ways to kind of build good healthy habits and your core is so important it's the key to so much in your your strength and abilities as we get older protects our backs so very important all right good to know and this is something that you can involve the kids with oh my goodness yes uh my kids so i had a blast over christmas uh vera and amelia my two oldest came every day to the gym with me Vera's still meeting. She's coming some of the days. Sometimes Amelia does, but I've got at-home stuff that they're doing, and they've really gotten into it, which is exciting for me because it's a passion of mine. And I've said for a long time, if you can incorporate fun and exercise with your kids, they learn to love it, and it becomes part of their life and that you know pursuit of healthiness and happiness, you know, so. Yeah, and yeah. you probably love it more, too, with a partner. Yeah, for all sure. All right, all right, I'll try it out. You've convinced me.